How you guys doing? What's going on? I'm Trevor Costin, owner of AIM Precision Training. And right now we're gonna talk about some simple things you can do while you're at home that you need to master to be a great DB. Yeah. Right. So the first thing I'm gonna go into is our pedal and weave. All right, you cannot be a good DB without one, understanding how to backpedal, right? We live backwards. Two, weaving. Weaving is gonna hold our leverage and then once we get really in depth, you can go into more about leverage and things like that. And then ball drills ball drills along with breaking and all that stuff on the routes but right now we're going to simply focus on some of the basic things to master and we're going to go into our pedal so right now here we got our defensive back uh javon williams out of ellsworth high school right one of a, a good college a good college athlete too as well freshman he's going to teach him some things and we're going to go go from there all right, so the first thing we're going to do all right focus on our back pedal so one thing that's most important is our stance and start all right but our feet is key before anything else you want to be comfortable Comfortable is everything, all right? If we're not comfortable, there's nothing we can't do. So right now, as you see, Javon has his feet in a, nice, in a nice narrow stance right now. He's feeling what's comfortable for him. He has his front foot up. He has his back foot either slightly behind his heel or a little bit in depth or even. But like I said, this is what's comfortable for him, all right? So now, one thing we make sure is he's not out of our framework or for you young guys, Madden circle. Don't want to be out of that Madden circle. So the first thing we're going to do is just pedal, all right? He's going to pedal. And then for coaches, you want to get in multiple ball drills and whip pedal. You get a little line right now, what we're going to do. And then on the way back, he's going to come. You're going to throw in the ball. All right, so first thing he's gonna do, he's gonna push off this front foot and this pedal, and he's gonna keep his shoulders over his toes. We only lean back in the club, right? And then we're gonna pedal to the hash, and then he's gonna come back, we're gonna throw in the ball. So we got it right here, ready, pedal. Very good, relax, perfect. He gets here, and then we're gonna throw in the ball. You get multiple people going, you have a line of DBs, you get them there to the hash. We'll just get him here, just cause we live backwards, it's ready. I'm gonna turn him, he's gonna open up whichever way he wants, I'm gonna throw in the ball. Ready, go, good. Just like that, nice. And the key thing is, if he drops the ball, hey, you make him go. You make him go. Pedal. Good, 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 good. Nice, relax. Coming back. Ready, go. Good, good catch. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do, and hey, we're gonna go into our weave pedal. Weave pedal is really, really, really key in order to hold in leverage for beginners. This is gonna be something that you're gonna to have to learn to love. All right, the receivers a lot of the time, they wanna square you up, have a two-way go. You have to be able to take whether you have inside or outside leverage and pretty much stay in horizontal and also square. Square is key. So right now what we're gonna do is gonna go back into our pedal that you just saw earlier, right? And he's gonna push off of whichever way I go off of his, in, off of his inside step weaving, keeping his butt and body squared. The longer we can stay square as defensive backs, the better it will be. Coaches, what you need to do, simple, here's the ball instruction drills. You pedal, and then when I weave him this way, he weaves that way, gets back into a pedal. Simple as that. And now you wanna make it a little bit of reactionary, right? As DBs, we gotta react. So make sure they're not guessing, then it's gonna be the same thing. Once you get back to that line, turn, open them up, so we get a ball drill. So now we've combined ball drill with the skill. And we can keep going, and this is how you can, coaches, this is how you get maximum time. Hey, young guys, you need something to do? Here's some simple stuff to master the bases of the defensive back. Here we go, ready, pedal. Weave, 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 good. Come right back, ready, go. Nice, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. Perfect, get everything wrong. Pedal, weave, 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 good. Come back, perfect, ready, go. Nice. Don't catch with your chest, catch with your hands. Yes, sir. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. So now, what this drill is, right? I'll crossover run in a 45, back to a pedal, crossover run, back to a pedal, right? This drill could be used for corners and safeties. The first two drills, pretty much how to pedal, all right? This is for your corner, your safeties, really, that'll use this the most, getting off the hash, having to read the quarterback, settle up and pedal, and then break. All right, so what's, what's going to happen here? For coaches, your instruction is simple. You give them this, they're going to follow on the side run. Crossover run. I square them back up. 45, open up, back over, boom, settle back. As soon as he gets to the hash, it's gonna be the same thing. You give him that ball drill, ball drill, ball drill, brawl drill. All right, ready, open, pedal, open, pedal. Good, good, good. Ready, come back, go. Nice, 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 nice. Ready, cross, pedal, cross, good. Nice, nice, nice. Break series now. All right, we got our T-step. 
or a bicycle step there's always this big conception out there which one is better let me just be honest with you it does not matter i say the preference is one whichever one you feel comfortable with because that's pretty much the best thing and two is you got to learn both right as the only thing is for college guys he's going into college his college coach could be an advocate and say he's married to the t-step break so then that means he's going to have to do what learn the t-step right he can go to college and his coach might like the bicycle a bicycle t-step i'm gonna say bicycle kid he might like the bicycle break guess what he's gonna have to do learn it so either way learn both of them but then also marry and practice when what's best for you i kind of like to have um i call it a v-step almost right a lot of people see and confuse the t-step with getting here putting back opening up your hip and then driving out right and people have the the bicycle step where you're going on the balls of your feet tap tap and getting going some people say the bicycle step is faster but i pretty much my kind of technical vision of it is called the v-step so when you're getting here you're tapping having your arms running out and it's pretty much the same thing you're still staying square on your break so the only thing right now what we got is what we like to start with our break series right is almost that v-step step so we're here we got whichever foot first we'll say we're going to go with our right foot what we're going to do is i say hit it's quick quick in the ground quick out right back in our stance quick out boom so once as you see as soon as i put this i tap it here and why i say it's a v a lot of people say the t-step because you're getting all seven cleats in the ground i'm in between i like bike i like both breaks so I, we've made it in between so now we're here we break and we're making sure we're firing our arm right arms and feet are always together fast arms equal equal fast feet so right now what he's gonna do when i say hit each time it's simple <laughs> making sure we're firing that arm up Ready, yep, ready. Good, light feet, give me light feet, good. And when I say light feet, it's key because we want to make sure his feet are light but still heavy in the ground. Nice, try not to turn the body, stay square. Ready, hit, good, come back. Ready, hit, 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 hit. Good, switch legs. Ready, hit. That on, that's a fire. Hit, hit. And notice when he's taking that foot right and the break that he's making is not out here right it's always in his framework like i said he's a longer athlete so he's different but make sure their framework is still relatively the same you know coaches you know athletes you feel yourself if you're all the way out of your framework you're not going to be able to get out of that and be explosive out of your break so we're making sure whatever we do we're in that framework we're in that framework stay in circle perfect now what's going to happen back it up a little bit only thing he's gonna do now is we're gonna just put that foot in the ground and run out of it. All right. So we're gonna be here, and I say hit, boom, boom, running our arms, running our feet out of that break. Back up even a little bit more. Yep. Ready. Hit. Nice. Good. 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 Same thing though. Fire that arm. Right. Plant. Point. Drive. So what I mean when I say plant. Point. Drive, ladies and gentlemen. Plant. Point. Drive out of it. Plant. Point. Drive out of it. And we also want to have something called low knee drive, right? A lot of times we pick our, we put the foot in the ground and pick our foot up really high. That takes a lot of time. We want to make sure it's low knee drive so that when we're here, it's pat, pat. Put it in the ground, quick and explosive, quick and explosive. Ready, good shoulders over your toes, right? Ready, hit. Good, 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 good. Ready, hit, boom, boom, woo, good. good. Hit, tap, tap. Quick it out, efficient, hit, tap, tap. We jump back up. Ready. Hit. Good. Better. This right here is called our break series, right? Break series or V-step in between. In between. Ready. Hit. Good, good, good. Perfect. So now, what we're going to break down, we gave you a little bit of how we start and begin our break series. That was the T-step version of it, right? So now all we like to do is part, whole part. So part of this bicycle right now, hey, he's going to come, and I'm going to say hit. He's going to get out of it. Boom, boom, boom and then and come right back down. And you'll notice the difference, right? You'll notice the difference. It's more on the balls of your feet, arms are firing, and he's gonna shoot out of it. So I'm gonna say go, he's gonna bicycle and run out of it. Go. Not bad, not bad, ready, go. That's it, perfect, perfect, ready, go. Good, 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 stand down now. Go. So now what we're gonna do is, going into our tempo pedal, this is a hey, monumental for DVs, right? Tempo pedal that out of our break. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna walk them, right? Walk is gonna get us our three-step key. Pedal, walk, pedal, I say break. It's gonna come down, just like that, right? Why do we tempo pedal? Tempo pedal, right, QB, 
right? They have a rhythm that they like to go through. Three step, five step, right? Quick game, all that good stuff. We're, gonna have, we're off if we're off coverage right now, off man, and we have our certain alignment, we need to make sure we're not pedaling too fast. We pedal too fast out of there, we're gonna throw it now, it's gonna be a hard attack. We need to make sure that we're having our eyes on our Kiwi's uh, feet. He gives you something now, ball now. We gotta be able to go, quick trigger and go, right? If it starts to get into our five step drop, right, we know it's gonna be a, a deeper throw. And it all depends if he's on the center, what a three step looks like for a shotgun, three to five, all that good stuff. But right now, that's part of the, that's that's the key to why we tempo pedal. So right now all we're gonna do is walk, pedal, walk, pedal, break them out of it. Ready? Walk, pedal, walk, pedal, break. Good, good. And you notice he bicycled right there. No issues, right? It was efficient. It was fast. It was smooth, and it was it was smooth. It was smooth. That's all. We gonna leave it as smooth. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Walk, pedal, walk, pedal, drive. Now you're playing with it now. <laughs> that was beautiful. Now walk, pedal, walk, pedal, break. The most important is our crossover. All right, so before anything, we got to get into We face the sideline, and it's a crossover run. A lot of times you see you guys taking these short, choppy steps going nowhere, right? It looks great in drill work, right? But we have to be real. These receivers are fast. They are four, three, four, five, four, six guys that will get up on you now. So right, we want if we're, we don't want to be stressed. Stress is never good. So if we're here doing this and they're getting up on us, they're gonna get to our blind spot, have a field there with us. So it's important now when we decide we have to open and cross over run that we gotta be able to run. So all we're gonna do right now is holding our stance, right, having a good body lean. We're gonna cross over, open, cross over, open, cross over, or step. Sorry, saying open. So cross over, step, cross over, step. What we want to make sure is that our arms are married to each other. Our arms are married to our feet. So when we're here, we're crossing, boom. Just like we're running, if we were running forward, now we're just running sideways. Everybody, keeping your eyes right on that camera, right? Yep, eyes on that shoulder, keeping it tight. Pumping your arms, making sure you're seeing. You want to gain ground in your side run. Gain ground in your side run. Ready, go, open. Good, good. Now try and stay down that line. Try and stay down that line. Right. Ready, go. Good, 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 nice. Good. Go. Good. A little lower. A little lower. Feel it. Feel it. Go. Nice, nice. There you go. Better. Better. Good. Yeah, body. Perfect. 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 Go. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Better. Hey, still the same thing. Without thinking about our arm that should be done before, though. Keep it here. Keep it here. That run, that arm. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do, hey, crossover run, hip flip. We're gonna run down the line. When I say hit or I hit the ball, whatever it may be, you wanna think about size, you wanna unlock your hip. A lot of times we just tell people to just flip, turn and run, right? That's not really the issue. You gotta cross over here. When you feel that hit, first, if I say hit and you're not ready, take what you need, take that extra step to be ready. Worst thing is to try to move too fast is when you really get caught up in panic mode. You wanna take this foot, just turn it a little bit. That's probably even too much. Turn the foot a little bit, open, straight back down the line, getting your eyes here, all right? This is just helping us, being having good hip, being having fluid hips is key and monumental as a defensive back. Ready, open, flip, nice, flip, good, relax. Still stay a little bit lower, don't raise up too high. And think about my arms, think about your arms, right? When you're pulling through a couple different ways. As you're pulling through the flip, when you turn it, Ripping this elbow, right? Your opposite elbow through. Getting here, rip. And getting back into that, that running motion. That running motion. Let's move this fast, ready? Here, flip, flip. Good. Almost, uh, that last one's killing you all. Raised up. Yep. Here, flip, flip. Better. Stay down that line, though. Here, flip, nice. Flip, don't stop your arms. Good. Controlling that upper body is key. All right, now what we got, a lot of times right now, right, so there's hip flips, and then it's also just flipping your head and getting back on track. So sometimes, right, sometimes DBs, they flip their hips too prematurely when they don't have to, right, because the receiver's doing 100,000 things. All you have to do now is be simple here. We're gonna side run. I say hit, turn his head. Hit, turn his head. Hit, turn his head. 
That's all we're looking for. And now as he's turning his head, he's in control, but still see the receiver. Still see the receiver. Because sometimes receivers want to get us flipping our hip, flipping again, and then, oh, flipping again. No, now we're all off balance and off cue, right? It's important now we're just down the line. Receiver's going to try and attack our blind spot. So we're here. He tries to attack here back, here back on him. Ready? Here. Flip, flip, flip. Very good. Nice. And as you see, there's a difference, right? There's a difference. He's able to easier carry his speed that is going along just by turning the head, turning the head. But it's key that you're not being lazy with your head turn and just turn it very laissez-faire with it. Making sure you're being very intentional with your, hip, your head flips, your head flips. Here, flip, 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 very good, nice. Here, flip, 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 good stuff. Notice how he's being able to stay down the line a lot better. So there's a couple tools I have in your crossover se run series. Your crossover run series. <laughs> hey, so now what we got right here is our step up drill. Step up drill. So all it's gonna be, if he's gonna be here, he's gonna run out. He's gonna get to here quickly. Break. Break. He's gonna get here, pumping his arms. I'm gonna be here. He's gonna make sure his eyes are up. And when, whatever number I have up, he's gonna yell that. He's gonna yell that. Any questions on that? So now what you can do is if you have multiple people, you can have somebody here holding the ball. They can swipe the ball as he's driving down. You have somebody throw it here. So when he's driving, he looks at his man and then swipes. But right now the key is out of your brakes, right? And just having drills, our feet and our hips drill, is making sure that he's having a point to aim. And, and really your eyes should be always on your man when you're braking. So what he's gonna do, and this is drills you can do on yourself. He has the cones. They're probably about three, four, five, three yards apart. Getting here, getting in and out of it, right? We want to make sure with our arms, right? We're not smelling our armpits like the new stuff that's going on these days. Keeping everything here and functional. Everything here and functional. We're getting here. Feet going. Feet going. Feet going. Getting out of it. Breaking, right? And I'll have a number. Go. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Three. Good. Ooh, you like that? Yeah. You got a little love on that one right there. Go. One. First out, first out. More importantly though is you're breaking with intent. So your eyes are on your man. That's key. Always having some a visual key to drive on. If there's nobody here and you're doing these drills alone, just have it that you're driving to the cones. Yes, you should never have your eyes at the ground, but you need something to do when you're driving and breaking out of a break point that you need to have in your mind. I'm breaking to a man. I'm breaking to the zone. I'm breaking to that area. I'm breaking to where the ball is. Have to have a visual key. Go. Good. Come on. Two. Good. Go. One. Nice, nice, nice. Now we got our, one of my favorite drills, box 90. So what's going to happen here? All this, breaking at 90 degrees, right? You can have this. We're going to do a bunch of these drills, just different breaks. So now we have our out route breaks. I'm going to pedal them, right? And when I say break, if you don't have anybody that can break you to react, you break when, when you have the cone in your peripheral, put the foot in the ground, break 90. All right? Getting to here. Pedal again, outside the cone, getting out of here. I'm going to break him. I'll be down there. He's going to run, catch the ball towards me. Box, ready. pedal, break, good, pedal, break. Good. Not bad, now, ready, pedal, break. Oh, why? Pedal, yep, you feel it. Break, good, ready, pedal, break, good, pedal, a little lower, get out, Woo. good. Making sure, too, when we're getting out of that last break now, right? Actually, every break we do, it's in intent, right? It's in intent. Because one thing we do know, the ball's not going to us. All right? Ready. Pedal. Break. Good. Pedal. Break. Arms. Ready. Pedal. Break. Good. Pedal. Break. Mind your arms. Arms, arms, arms. There you go. Good. I mean, now we got our box X drill. So same thing now. We do so much within the box series. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our 45 degree brace, which could be our curls, our comebacks. Break here, boom, he's going on the X, right? He's getting here, he's gonna get outside the cone, back to his pedal, right? Then he's gonna put the foot in the ground, break. I'll, I'll be here, he'll throw the ball, catch it, get up the field. Catch it, get up the field. Pedal, break, good, pedal, break. Nice, good, good catch. What I like, pedal. Nice. Pedal. Break. Good. Ready. Pedal. Break. Nice. Come on. Pedal. Break. Get a drink. Woo! 
two bikes is dying. And now we're gonna be here. Same same thing. So we had our box 45s out of our pedal. We had our 45s and 90s. We're gonna grab our box 45 with our side run. Same two brakes. So the first one we're gonna hey side run, right? Getting here, breaking 90. Getting here, back pedal. Yep. Nope. Oh side side run, run right here. Breaking that down. 90 coming out. Oh, break. Nice. Good. Break. make sure we're doing now is not just rounding our brake. So when we get to the top of the brake, we gotta settle. Break right, down. left, right, yep. Get to here. Boom, boom, boom. Getting here. Right, left, right. Getting out of it. Woo. Ready. Oh, break. All right, there you go. Good. Yeah, you ran that last one. I want you yeah. sharp. Now we're gonna activate sharp. some hips, right? Gonna get to here, flip outside. Left, right, side run. Keeping our shoulder over our chin. Break. Feet, feet, drive out three hard steps, catch the ball, catch the ball, open, break, good, open, good, drive, that's it, there you go, open, drive, find me, yes, open, good, drive, good, open, drive, come on, arms, 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 open, arms while you're tired, drive, ooh, I'm almost tired, good, 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 good.